hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're going to do a bit of rock tumbling. Well, whenever we go on vacation, my wife is always on the search for sea glass. And if you don't know what sea glass is, it is basically garbage. It is glass that has been dumped into the ocean at some point in time or washed into the ocean. And through tides and that sort of thing, it tumbles the glass over the ocean floor and the sand and the rocks and everything grind it so that it's smooth and kind of opaque. It's a really cool kind of a thing. You can make your own using a rock tumbler. So I managed to get a rock tumbler from my wife uh, at a fairly half decent price and I thought I would show you guys about the rock tumbling aspect of it. It's kind of a cool process. So let's head over to the bench and I'll explain exactly what it is that we do for rock tumbling. The way that it works is that you have this machine here that you can program for up to seven days and it has a couple rollers on it and you basically place your rocks in a drum and the drum gets sealed and placed on these rollers and it rolls. Go figure, eh? And inside that tumbles the rocks around but it tumbles the ro them around with water and a grit. Well, here we have some of the rocks that we've got on one of our off-road trips. And there's a lot of interesting shapes and colors in these. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these rocks into the tumbler barrel. And you want to fill it between half and three quarters full. So this is the barrel and it's made of rubber, which really helps to reduce the sound when these rocks are tumbling around in there. So we just want to take these, put them inside. And as I said in the previous clip, you want to go about half to three quarters full. So we're a little over half there. Now at this point in time, you want to take some water and you want to fill up the water until it just covers the rocks. Now the next step that you want to do is take the first grit, which is step one. So you want to take a tablespoon of this grit, just like this, and you want to add it to your water. like that. And then from there, you just need to close up the tumbler barrel. So the first part that goes on is the tumbler seal. Now, of course, it's tight and you sort of have to finagle it a little bit to get it on there, but that's the whole point of it. If it wasn't tight, it wouldn't seal. So we'll just work it on there carefully. And once we get it on, Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Well, just... <laughs> I did say it was finicky. But you really need it to be tight like that to get a good seal. There we go. We got it now. And once you put that on, then this stainless cap goes on just like that. And then you have this pretty little knob which will thread on and pull the whole thing together. So you want to screw that on until it's tight. Don't over tighten it. Don't crank it. And now you're ready to put it on your tumbler. Now, according to the manufacturer's instructions for this, the first step goes between three and five days. However, we've been uh, tumbling things for seven, basically, on the first step, and we've gotten some pretty good results with that, and I, I think that we're going to do the same thing for these ones. So you just sit the barrel here on these rollers, and there's a set button. You press it for the number of days you'd like, one to seven. So we're going to go right up to seven, and then you press the start button. And now it's nothing more than a waiting game. 
Now, you might want to place this thing down in the basement or in a room that you don't use. You can hear the rock tumbler running in the background. Now, it's not that loud. In fact, it doesn't bother me, but if you're not used to noises and that sort of thing, it may keep you awake. If you could run it outside in your garage or whatever, that might even be preferable. But either way, we'll leave this and we'll see you in a week. All right, well, it's been a week and these things have been tumbling in here. What you need to do now is clean off all of the stones and clean out your container. Uh, we need to get the second step of grit in and get it turning again. Now, I'll just caution you, do not put this liquid down your drains. Uh, it will gunk up your drain like there is no tomorrow. So um, I'm just gonna use a bucket and a hose and a strainer and we're gonna take this out and clean it up. Okay, so we're just going to get a few of these poured out of here. Try to get the, the rocks out into the strainer. There we go. So we'll take a couple of these now, just like this, and we're going to rinse them off. There we go, just like that. Okay, we'll rinse that one off twice. <laughs> and we'll just put those aside and do our next batch. Just like that. And then the last one. Couple stubborn ones there that don't want to come out. One stubborn one. There it is. Just like that. Now, this container now, I don't know how well the camera is showing this, but this container is full of slurry. So you just want to rinse it out so that we can get it ready for the next grit. So here are the rocks after the first week of tumbling and they look absolutely nothing like they did before. The grit has, has turned them down, softened their edges. Some of them, like this black one, it has almost turned round. It's kind of cool the way that one went. Some of the quartz is nice and shiny now and rounded off. And some of the colors, like it's got these nice peach, kind of pinky peach colors. And this one here is really cool as well. But let me just pan away from this and I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison of what they look like. And oh, there it is. And it's, it's, it's incredible to see the difference between the two. So, I, I don't know. I guess we move on to the next step, which is step two, which is yet another grinding. So let's get these rocks back into the tumbler barrel. So our next step here is the step number two, which is the medium grit, and that will continue to smooth our rocks. So we'll just place them all back into our tumbler barrel. And just like we did the first time, we'll cover them up just cover them with water. There we go. And then we're gonna add our grit. Same thing as before, about a tablespoon of the grit. Some there in the lid, let's not waste it. There we go. And we'll get a tablespoon of the grit. We'll dump this in and then close up our barrel. With everything now ready to go, we just place our barrel back onto the rollers. We will set this for another seven days, and uh, now we wait. So I guess I'll see you guys in a week. And at the end of week two, the next step is done. and. We now need to repeat the exact process we did with the first one where we're going to carefully 
clean our rocks, clean the inside of our drum, and get ready for the next step of grit. Well, after step two, there are considerable differences. The biggest difference that's noticeable is this black one here, which was kind of a large marble before, and now it's a little small, kind of a pea. That may not survive to the final step, but the rest are turning out really cool. The colors are really coming out, and they're very, very smooth. So there's not much to tell you here. The steps are exactly the same. So we are going to put these back in the drum. We're going to add a tablespoon of the grit number three, which is a polishing compound. We're going to cover the stones just slightly with water and we're going to throw it in the tumbler for another seven days. And I guess one important step to remember is make sure you've got all your rocks in there before you close it up. And once again, another week has gone by and this is the end of step three. But we're going to wash these rocks and then get prepared for step four. But before we put the grit in for step four, I'll show you what the rocks look like at this point in the game. Well, the rocks continue to get smaller and they continue to get more and more polished. Um, they're quite smooth at this point after the third stage and they're quite a bit smaller. I want to show you this one because I find this hilarious. Remember that one that I said was rounded, the black one, and I loved how it had pretty much gone down almost to a marble? Well, there it is, right there. Look at how tiny that is. That will be gone by step four, I can promise you that. This little piece here of quartz has also pretty much disintegrated. That probably will not survive. Not all rocks do survive the rock tumbling, but we do have some pretty cool patterns. This one here especially is pretty cool looking and it will improve after step four, which is what we're gonna get into now. Well, much like we've done on every other stage, the process is identical. We will place the rocks in our tumbler just like so. Even these little bitty ones that I'm positive are not going to survive. We'll put those in as well. And then it's a matter of measuring out our grit. Once again, just about a tablespoon of the grit number four. Grit number four is a polishing grit, much like step three, but this is the final polishing. So we'll get a tablespoon of this. Do, 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 do just like that, dump it in. And just as we have on all the other steps, we're gonna add enough water to cover the rocks. Rocks are covered. We will add our cover and seat it in there properly. And then we'll put this stainless top on, attach our knob, and then sit it back on our tumbler set it for another seven days and then let her go. We're at the end of the fourth week and now there's nothing to do but to reveal what's inside. So I'm going to wash these, strain them, dry them and bring them back and show you what we ended up with. Well, just as we thought, that little black guy didn't survive. Um, no big deal, some of them don't. Now, these are as smooth as they're gonna get at this point. They don't really have a polish to them. But what you can do, this one here, which was a larger one, I was able to get a polish on this one using a buffer wheel and some wax. And actually, the finish on it is quite spectacular, it's nice and shiny. But another method that you can use that would probably be a little more user-friendly uh, would be a little coating of mineral oil. 
and all you need to do is put a little bit onto a piece of paper towel or onto uh, a rag and just give them a wipe down with this mineral oil and it will give um, a really nice finish on it as well as bring out the patterns and textures that were revealed by tumbling. So let me just do this one and I'll show you what the results are. And I don't know if you can see that there, but the, the I'm going to call them grain lines because I don't know what else to call them. But this one has all kinds of cool brown and white striping through it. And the mineral oil gives it kind of um, a semi-gloss finish, whereas using the wax really brought out a bright shine on the rock. So whichever method you use is completely up to you. Um, the mineral oil is, is, in my opinion, just as nice as what the shiny one is. So where most of the rocks started off with something like this, this is what we end up with. And some of these are absolutely incredible. Look at this piece of what I believe to be rose quartz. It's like the colors in it are unreal. The browns, the reds, the whites. I'm a little disappointed that my little black marble disappeared, but that's okay. And these little tiny pieces of quartz that have broken off and shaped themselves, they're pretty much useless, say, in a display. But if you were doing a craft or a mosaic, they would be really handy in some smaller areas. Um, so basically, we've gone from our original group of this and, I don't know, it's just a bunch of rocks. And then we've got this and, I don't know, it's, it's pretty darn cool. It's pretty impressive. And there you have it. Rock tumbling. Guys, this is one of those crafts that there's really no effort to it. It's a matter of putting the grid in, covering it with water, and letting it tumble for a week. You don't have to babysit it. You don't have to watch it. The only time that you'll need to do that is if you're tumbling glass. And when we tumble glass, my wife makes these really cool little pictures of like, well, there's three bird, uh, bluebirds here. I, I mean, this is, how adorable is that? and it's made with tumbled glass. And it's just a matter of breaking the glass, putting it in the tumbler, and you put it in with a little bit of sand, the same amount sort of thing. You wanna put some plastic beads or something in there so that they're not tumbling on themselves and smashing the glass and pulverizing it, and just let it run for anywhere between three and five days, and it will round this out. You can also use grit. Sometimes I throw it in there as well with the rocks. But one thing that you want to pay attention to is when you're tumbling glass, for some reason it builds up a pressure inside of the uh, barrel. So you want to every sort of day check on it, make sure it's not expanding too much and release that pressure from the barrel and let it tumble some more. This is a great thing to get your kids involved with, guys. I mean, the difference between this and this is night and day. And it's just so cool to be able to see what they started off with and see what you end up with. I think your children would be blown away by that black rock that was so large and then it whittled down, whittled down, whittled down. It was so cute and then it disappeared. And it's all about erosion and the way that the harder material basically takes away that soft rock. I didn't realize how soft it was. But still, a great little craft to get your kids involved with and a little display of polished rocks is kind of nice. It's cool. You know, in the fall, add a few little pine cones and make a centerpiece out of these things. Guys, this show has been a lot of fun to, uh, to produce and to film. It has been a month-long process, but it worked out really well and the results were spectacular. 
I want to thank my wife for helping out with the show. She, of course, was on the sidelines helping out with cleaning up of the rocks and that sort of thing. And she kind of babysat the tumbler and emptied it and brought it out to the shop in between other filmings. So I want to thank her very much for her help. It was a lot of fun doing the show with her. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's show. I hope that you're going to like and subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so that you don't miss notifications of future programs. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.